You're yelling out, we ain't selling out. We got money, but we ain't lending out. We got bars, but we ain't billing out. We not pay for Ravi, we pulling out. I told Tay, bring it by billing out. The book so cold, we just chilling out. Baby, yelling, yelling, get yelling out. It is Barbie, bitch, if you still in doubt. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Things feel like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I'm pulling a can. Like Jazzy, they see you keep up. All of the Barbies is pretty. He wanna play in the playhouse. The they gon' say now. I'm watching these bitches. I'm loving a stain out. Like I'm ready to bend. What a fake bubbles just wanna pretend. Like girl, let me go find me a pen. Look where it led. Now I'ma put it. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to another vloggy vlog. I think this is the second moving vlog. Um, as y'all saw, I just got ready this morning. I just want to say good morning and start the vloggy vlog off. Um, I got some work that I need to do today and then like I said, I think I wanna do some reorganizing in the kitchen. I need to unpack my closet um, and I need to put clothes away in my dresser and then the last thing I'm probably gonna do is the bathroom just because I need to figure out how I wanna organize my products, but yeah. Y'all will see that in this vlog. I also might go to Crate and Barrel today. Something about this is not vibing well with my spirit. And then I think I want to change out my, oh, I want to change out the spoon rest and the butter thing. And I also want some new towels and I need like a oven mitt and stuff, but I haven't seen any that I like really, really like, which is why I haven't bought any. And then yesterday I went to Target because I was gonna start cooking my dinner, which I didn't film cause I wasn't in the mood. Um, and I realized, bitch, you don't have, I get great sunlight in here. I really love that for me. I was like, bitch, you don't have any like cutting boards cause you got rid of them. I got this set of three from Target. I'll link them down below. That is what I ended up doing last night. And those are some of the thoughts that I'm having about my kitchen now. Living room, even though my coffee table has a few little nicks on it and less like when I found my claim, they're willing to give me enough money to buy a new coffee table. I still plan on keeping it as of right now, but I really wanna pull the trigger on buying this sofa that I'm looking at. I should buy my media console first. But yeah, those are my thoughts, my little rambles. But like I said, just want to come on camera, start the vlog and talk to y'all and we will chat later. All right, guys, I'm taking a little break from work. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of these hangers up so I can try and get rid of some more boxes. Yeah, they hate, but they broke, but they broke. Up. And when it's time to pop, they are no shit. Yeah, I'm pretty, but I'm low, but I'm low. The loud got me moving slow mo. Hey, yo, Tweety, where the hoes, where the hoes, bro? Hey, yo, keys, where the hoes, bro? Hey you guys, this is where we are right now with the closet. So I put my coats here, not fully in love with it, but this is like the best place to put them. Coats all the way up to my blazers. Then I have dresses starting back there, pants, skirts, shorts, and then tops and body suits. I might move my dresses to the front and then I might move my pants down here since I still have this rack open, but I will worry about that later. Right now, I'm gonna put these shoe organizers together. They're mostly together. I think I just am gonna do them stacked, like two of them stacked together versus the three. I'm gonna do that um, so that I can put all my shoes away. And then the last of the clothes that I have to cut away is the stuff in my suitcase organizers, my packing cubes, and then the stuff that's on the dresser and the stuff that's in this black bag, that's to go in my dresser. But that's about it. So 
I am going to put these shoe organized together and then we will talk when I'm done. Hey y'all, I just got back from Crate and Barrel. Okay, so this morning I was telling y'all that I wasn't happy with certain things in here decor wise and I wanted to change some stuff and everything. So I ordered some stuff off of Crate and Barrel and I did a pickup order. One item is being shipped to me but this stuff I was able to pick up in store. Well, I did a drive up order. They brought it out to me, um, but it came in this box because of what I got. Um, so we're gonna do a little unboxing. Oh, this is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Also, I had a coupon for 15% um, off. So I was like, let me use it on this order. Oh, these are pretty. Okay, I got some coasters. They're black. They're like a stone kind of thing because I had coasters. These are nicer. I had coasters in my last apartment, but this is also really nice wrapping paper. But um, I got rid of them. They were from Ikea. Like they served their purpose. I had them for like four or five years and I just wanted something that was nicer and sturdier. I also got a new um, spoon rest because the white is not doing it for me. Oh, this is so pretty. Then I got this. It is to hold, um, I need to wash all of this. It's to hold utensils. It's to hold utensils. I'm, ignore me. It's to hold utensils. So we got that. I'm gonna put my wooden utensils specifically in there. They did a good job wrapping this stuff. Actually, let's put the rest of this on the floor. Oh, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. CB2 has one that's similar, but theirs is like $30 cheaper and I didn't realize it until after I bought it. This is so pretty. I'm gonna put my fruit in here because I told y'all that I wanted a different like fruit bowl because something was not hitting with that one in particular. And then the last thing I got, cause I didn't buy one when I was at Target yesterday, but I'm happy because this one is much nicer. You gotta see if it'll close, if it'll fit. This is adjustable. That's what I got. The last thing I got was like a marble butter dish, like a French um, butter dish. And I'm very excited for that to come. It's like white and black um, marble. Very excited. We're gonna transfer our fruit in here. Let's see how we like it. This already looks 10 times nicer. I want you to tell me it doesn't. Let's see if this works. Okay, so I can only extend it this much. Fits perfectly and it closes. I'm gonna do forks. Okay, we played a little puzzle, but we got everything to fit. So I feel good about this. I'm gonna play around with some other decor stuff and then I will come back later. All right, we put some Nespresso pods up here. I put those three wine glasses up there because that's for red wine. I don't drink red wine that much. And if I really want to, it's my house and I have some red wine, I will pour it in a, in a white wine, wine glass because who gonna check me, boo? Nobody. So yeah, but then I also have space to add extra wine bottles um, as well. So I am very pleased with my home decor decisions. Very, 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 ooh, I'm back lit. Very, 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 very pleased. So yeah, that's what 
it's giving. Oh, I reorganized that. Looks a lot simpler. I would probably put wine bottles up there, but yeah. Uh, it just looks so much better. I'm so much happier because I just woke up this morning and I was like, this is not the vibe. It's not the vibe. So I'm very happy. Okay, I'm gonna take this trash out and then go back to work. We will chat later. I'm trying to decide if I wanna record me cooking dinner in here only because I didn't do it yesterday, but yeah. All right, you guys, closet is done for right now. The pants, I might move down here, we shall see, but still have my coats and stuff here going into like blazers and sweaters. Back there is dresses followed by pants, shorts, skirts, bodysuits, sweaters, crop tops, that kind of stuff. That's why I said I might move the pants down here so I can bring the dresses forward a little bit. This is all my sneakers and my heels, boots. And then I put my sneaker boxes up here and then I have my designer boxes and then my purses. Um, and then behind here, just to conserve space, I have my suitcases. The other two are in here. My carry-on, duffel, my Christmas tree, my ring light, my vacuum cleaner. Um, yeah, my vacuum cleaner. I have some robes back there, but that is really it. And then I have my ladder over here, just like I did in my last apartment. And then um, stuff for the washer and dryer in here. And yeah, that is everything for my closet. Very happy with the way that it looks. Tomorrow or on the weekend, we will tackle these two boxes that I have down here for the bathroom and figure out how we're gonna organize in here. But I'm done for the day. Um, I mean, I'm gonna crush the rest of these boxes and take them down. I put some food out for Skipper, but he hasn't eaten it yet. I'm gonna go W-A-L-K him and then I'm gonna come back and cook and then I'm gonna do some work. So yeah, we will chat tomorrow. Yeah, most likely tomorrow because um, me and Crystal are going to Solid Core and then she's coming back here so she can see the new place and then Sharabia might come by tomorrow too because she has to get a jacket that um, Crystal got for her while she was at the um, Beyonce show in Atlanta. She bought a flame in her hands, can't. She bought a tape in her hands, can't. You can't even see me in your hands, can't. She bought a flame in your hands, can't. She bought a flame in her way out of here. She bought a flame in can't even see me in your way out of here. I'm just flying the sky. Her man's ass for the dog, my ass. She's so pretty, look better than cancer. Puffing on Zooters and she calling me daddy. Walking on shit, turn it up and I guess. Came out the gutter, they ain't never me to swag it. Secure the bag, got a bitch, I'm a bag it. Turn it up, got a ratchet, she good. Parking two million in the middle of my hood. Making no money, I made out of the sword. Pro hard and sense, read no level, I'm good. Out of these niggas, they looking the same. They cops with my lingo, they biting my chain. Membership, championship, I just go empty. She bitch breaking into the lick and the kid. Turn it up, found them, but making the counter up. You get this money, like this. I'm religious. Could be a man, they have sad vanity. Niggas try to compare with him, but I did. Definitely touch a hundred, piece of the gate. Like, you might have drunk up the kidnapping kid. Bought a bell, no bitchin' on the crib. I'm scared the ocean is my third of him. You know where I'm at, you can see me, I'm in. I keep me no funny, no matter what I'm in. I don't touch a head, she's gonna catch a career. You fuck with me, you good, bitch, you have to be win. Niggas can't see me, you can't go to teach. Who's man, they're basically gonna hold on the wrist. I'm never sober, I'm feeling my quiz. I'm about to eat, I can feel what I'm getting. She fell a flight, nigga, can't even see me on way out of here, I'm too fly to scan. Her man's ass for the time, my ass. She's so pretty, look better than cancer. Laughing on Zeus, she calling me daddy. Walking on shit, turn it up and I guess. Came out the gutter, they ain't never me to swag it. Secure the bag, got a bitch, I'm a bag it. Turn it up, got a mansion, she good. Working two million in the middle of my hood. Making no money, I made out of the sword. My heart is sensory, but I'm good. Out of these niggas, they looking the same. They got my lingo, they bite in my chain. Membership, championship, I just go empty shit. Bitch, break a ninja, the nigga, the kid. Got a million, the text of my girl. This nigga, my memory, they want not that I just realized that I wasn't recording, but presentation's not the best because bitch, I'm hungry, but I'm finna eat my HelloFresh meal. I'm having an Olipop. I'm having the lemon lime flavor. I never had this one before, so I picked it up from Target and then I put it in my cute little glass that I got from Amazon the other day that I showed y'all in some ice and it's actually pretty good. It obviously doesn't taste like Sprite because it's Olipop, it's not soda. 
It actually tastes a little closer to Sierra Mist than it does to Sprite or 7-Up actually. They don't taste the same. All three of them taste different, but it's pretty good. So I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna watch them on YouTube and we will chat tomorrow. A bitch is motherfucking tired. Okay, bye. Hey y'all, I just came back from Crate and Barrel. So I actually went to West Elm. I actually went to West Elm first, which y'all saw. Um, but they didn't have what I wanted. I went to go look for um, dish towels or oven mitts. So I use my kitchen dish towels. I just gave them away to Goodwill. That's where I went first and I went to West Elm, then I went to Crane Barrel. But I have been using my dish towels like to essentially uh, handle like hot stuff, like when I'm taking it like out of the oven and stuff. But I wanted to get some that match and I was like, I either want to get black kitchen towels, dish towels, or if I can find like some oven mitts or pot holders that I like, then I'll get that instead. Um, because I don't really use the kitchen towels like to actually like really like dry anything or anything like that. But I got some black ones from Crate and Barrel and they have a silicone backing. So love that for me. I love these kinds of pot holders. So we got that. And then while I was at Crate and Barrel, I also went to see if they had some ice scoops. So I can put one in my freezer because Sharabia reminded me. She was like, do you have an ice scoop? I wish that it was black, but it's okay. And I said, no, I don't have one, but I will get one. And so now I have one, so I don't necessarily have to touch the ice with my hands. So yeah, we will chat later on. Crystal said hello. Are you coming to join the party? Hey y'all. Ooh, I'm gonna stand you on top of something. I don't feel like putting y'all on my tripod right now. So you're balancing on top of my water bottle. Okay, let's hope you don't fall. Hello, I'm back from getting my nails done. They're very cute, very short, very simple. So yeah, and I got my toes done too, just French. But I picked up a package from Crate and Barrel and it's my marble butter holder. Let's move down. Ooh. There we go, okay. It's my marble butter holder. This, I was like, what the fuck did they give me this big ass box for? Because like, the butter holder is not that big, bitch. First of all, this is very premium and nice material, but it's crane barrel, so what do you expect? But I thought that this was a little bit smaller, and so now I'm like, should I have gotten the marble one, but that had the glass top? that was a little bit smaller, but the comments were complaining about how small it was. So that's why I was like, oh, let me get this one. Cause it also did look small, but this fit, felt like, okay, it will fit a normal, you know, thing of butter, bitch. Cause the butter part goes in here. This is a lot. And then you just put a little bit of water in the bottom. Um, but this is really pretty. I also like how it looks on my countertop next to the black. I like how it looks right here next to my little utensil holder. That, it just looks so much better than this. So yeah. Also, if they, and if they have this in black, which I think they do, I might get one in black. If you haven't noticed, the theme here is black accents. So yeah, I'm gonna put, uh, transfer my butter in here. Then I'm gonna go take care of the children. I don't think I said this yesterday, but I'm watching both of my, both of the dogs. Obviously, Skipper's my dog. Hazel's my dog too, but she's really my parents' dog because um, I don't live at home anymore. Our family dog, but they're, her owners are my parents. So um, I'm watching her a few, for a few days because my parents are moving out of their house and into their new one. Hazel has anxiety and like it just might be a lot for her with the movers and because they needed to have the doors open to go in and out and shit. So I'm watching her and she is like rolling around on my bed 
right now and I'm definitely gonna have to wash my white duvet cover again once she I take her back to my parents um, because dogs are dogs but yeah I'm gonna transfer the butter into well wash that transfer the butter in there take care of the kiddos go back to work we will probably chat what is today today's Thursday tomorrow's Friday I have Pilates tomorrow morning not doing anything else i'll probably check in with y'all though on saturday and sunday because i think we're gonna go to pride i was originally gonna go to pride um just on sunday but we're probably gonna go both days so yeah i will keep y'all posted and obviously take y'all along so yeah hey y'all happy saturday i just came back from um European Wax Center. I also went to, did I put it in here? Yeah, I also went to Sally's and then I went to Target. Also, I'm wearing one of the new pairs of earrings that um, I got from Amazon, the Bottega dupes. I'm wearing the gold ones. I really like them. And they're actually pretty lightweight and they feel like pretty good quality. But yeah, so from uh, Sally's, I went and got a spray bottle one because i just don't have one anymore for when i do my hair in general but i want to put some water and conditioner in here so i can spray it on the curly pieces of my hair just to revive them a little bit and then i went to target and i got some cooking stuff so i got a pair of nylon uh, a pair of thong thongs tongs with nylon heads is from the oxo brand same brand that i got my little drink organizer in my fridge for so i got one of these because i don't have one like this and then i wanted to get some more wooden spoons and stuff for my thing so i got this set from cuisinart bamboo slotted and solid spoons natural oil finish safe for non-stick cookware um so yeah got these i think you have to get like these look better quality than the ones that i have in here i think you have to get well i haven't experienced cracking with these and i've had these for quite some time but i do know that sometimes like bamboo cutting boards bamboo utensils like they can crack if you don't like keep up with like aftercare or whatever and i think sometimes just um slathering it with like oil but i think there's a specific type of oil you're supposed to use helps with maintaining the product then i got this one um it is a bamboo solid turner so it looks like this and then i went ahead this wasn't like a necessity but i got it anyways i got a silicone spatula i need to wash it but it's in black because I'm doing black accents in here and then same thing with um a spatula i have a metal one like a stainless steel one um but sometimes i don't want to use that and i want something that's like this so i still have my stainless steel one but i got this one too i need to wash both of them and then i am in the mood for pancakes this morning that personally would make me feel better because i am in a mood um, and I will tell you why in a second, but, um, I got this mixing bowl set and it came with lids. It was $20 from Target because I don't have any mixing bowls and I wanted some glass ones and I want some pancakes this morning. Um, but yeah, I want some comfort food. I was supposed to get coffee this morning, um, but I because i'm still kind of in a bad mood i don't want to be around other people i don't like having that negative my own negative energy around other people when i'm not in a good mood i just also don't think that that's fair to other people so i like to be alone when i'm in a bad mood oh shit almost broke this this top is on there secure boy um, I'm pissed off because Hazel's anxiety, I'm watching my parents' dog, my childhood dog, um, while they're doing like moving stuff and her anxiety is like giving me anxiety and it's really like stressing me out. It's not even the two of them together because I'm like used to that. They don't really bother me. I don't care too much about the barking. Like that's not what bothers me. What is irritating me is like 
I obviously I don't have a backyard like what she's used to at my parents house so I have to take her outside it's fine getting her to put her collar on her leash getting her down the stairs or even in the elevator that's not the problem it's going outside and even when there's nothing going on because I purposefully sorry I thought I saw something on my um pendants um even when I look outside make sure it's not too busy outside because I know how she is and if it is I will purposefully go walk her somewhere where there's not a lot going on and even when I do that she's like being very like resistant and she like doesn't want to pee she doesn't want to poop and it's like I have to drag her and she's trying to crawl back inside but it's like you wanted to go out and I know you have to use the bathroom because if you don't use the bathroom now you're going to end up having an accident in my apartment and literally last night I went to walk her. I got her to pee. I was like, do you want to poop while we're out here? And after she peed, she just started dragging me inside. And I said, okay. And then I went to walk Skipper because I've been walking them separately just because I know how they can get when they're together for a walk. And so once I was done walking Skipper, I think I went in the bathroom to go do something. And I noticed her crouching in my, like, in my little mini hallway right here like she was going to poop and she did but she also shitted all over my carpet in my bedroom and it's like bro i just took you outside so we could use the bathroom and now you fucking shitted in my new apartment stop that and I was just really irritated because every single time that I tried to walk her throughout the day yesterday, she's been giving me a hard time. And so her shitting on my floor was like a breaking point and I went off. And so I've been pissed off ever, ever since because like, I just took you outside. So why would you go do that? And she's been giving me issues like all day yesterday, even this morning. I was like, we're not going inside because you're not going to have another accident in here. You're going to use the bathroom. I don't care if you're anxious. There wasn't even, there was nobody outside. There's no loud noises. There's no machine because they are doing construction, but the construction workers and their materials, they're not here. So there is nothing outside for her to be anxious about. And it just like really like set me off yesterday. Like I think I was just irritated like all day because she's been really giving me a hard time. And like I get it, it's a new environment and stuff, but like I'm literally going out of my way to not put her in thing in situations that would trigger her anxiety. And even that is not working. And so it is causing me to get anxious and frustrated. And so then I just blew up last night um, and I was just over it. And I was still upset when I woke up this morning. I'm still upset as I'm recording this like right now. I'm just pissed off. Like I'm just very like irritated. But my dad is coming to get her tomorrow because they got the keys to the house and everything. And he said when the movers come on Monday that he's just gonna put her in one of the spare rooms so that she's out of the way because like I like cannot have her here until Tuesday because I'm getting extremely frustrated. Um, and I think she's just, which is rightfully so, she's used to her house. She's used to having a backyard to go and pee in and do all the things. like. But I was like so frustrated, like I had it up to here yesterday and then I just blew up. Um, so yeah, so food always cheers me up. So I'm going to make myself some pancakes. Um, I was supposed to hang out with my friends later. I'm not in the mood to go anywhere anymore or even tomorrow. I don't want to go because, well, they're going to come pick her up tomorrow morning and I don't know what time tomorrow morning. So I don't want to still go anywhere in case like they're here while I'm at brunch. I just don't think that that's fair. So I would just rather stay here. And then, yeah, I'm not in the mood to really go anywhere later on today. I don't really want to be around people while I'm still irritated. And I also don't want to risk her having another accident um, in the apartment because I'm gone for a few hours, even if I, I wasn't gone that long. I was only gone for like an hour this morning, but I was planning on being gone for a few hours later on tonight. 
Obviously, I was going to feed her and walk her and do all the things before I went out. But I know that she's going to give me issues. And I am going to be really upset if I come home to shit everywhere in my apartment. Like, I'm really going to be extra pissed. So, I'm just going to stay here. Um, so, yeah. So, the plans that I have this weekend, I'm canceling them. Um, well, everyone else is still going to go, and that's fine, but I'm not going to go. I'm going to stay at home. So, yeah, I'm going to make myself, I'm going to wash this stuff. I'm going to make myself something to eat, and I'll probably talk to you guys maybe tomorrow when I'm in a slightly better mood. I just want to show y'all what I got from Target. So, yeah, we will chat later. All right, y'all, I am back. Still in a slightly better, still in a little bit of a mood, but we're in a slightly better mood, although my mood is a little off, not really. Yes, I'm still annoyed about the shit that happened last night, but it's more so because I've been trying to export a video all day, and I think that I might have to get a new, um, whatchamacallit, a new external hard drive because it's been saying to me, like, can't share this file, blah, 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 blah. And it did it. I exported this video last night so I could upload it today so I could schedule it like technically a week from Tuesdays when it would be posted, which it still will get posted then. But like, it never exported overnight. And I realized that after I came back from running errands. So then since then, I have been trying to export the video and it was keep, it kept giving me the same little message that it couldn't export it. Um, because like the files weren't being saved or are not saved or there was something wrong. And it was like, everything is saved on the external hard drive. So I'm not understanding like what the problem is. So I had to restart Final Cut Pro and take out my external hard drive or like disconnect it. And then when it finally would export and I put that, I uploaded that to YouTube, there was a copyright issue. Um, and so now I've been trying to re-export the video and that same error message kept popping up, but now it's like working properly. So hopefully it continues to export without any issues, but that's all that I've been trying to like figure out and do this afternoon. Cause once I exported that and uploaded it to YouTube, I want to start editing this vlog that y'all are currently watching. Cause I have a lot of footage to go through. Um, so yes, that's what I've been doing all day today, but now, um, but now I am going to try and organize in this bathroom. Um, and I have stuff in the, in these cabinets, which I showed y'all, I think like earlier on in the week, I just kind of threw stuff in there, but I need to like, actually like organize what is in there. Um, along with the stuff that's in these boxes and also actually before I organize going through the boxes and seeing if there's any like additional things that I want to give away. Also, I didn't do like an outfit of the day type of thing earlier. Um, and I felt like my outfit was cute today is giving a little Kim possible, but whatever. Sorry, there's a glare because one, the window's back here and two, I need to clean this mirror. Skims, I need to buy some more, um, tops um because i've had this for like probably three or four years now held up but i need to buy some new ones some fresh ones um parachute pants or cargo pants these are from local european i don't know if they're still in stock i'll link them down below urban outfitters sell some good ones too from people's like tiktoks and youtube videos i've been seeing i didn't wear my ugg slippers out these are just on i had on my gucci platform slides earlier and then I showed y'all my Bottega drop earring dupes. I think this is mostly my wigs, wigs and nail stuff. I have all of my nail stuff in here. So I'm gonna go through this stuff and then, and take the things out of the box. Once I'm done with that, I will set y'all up so that um, I'll probably speed up the clip so it'll just show me like organizing the cabinets and stuff. All right, y'all, I didn't end up propping y'all up while I was putting stuff away cause I was like getting into it. And then I was like, oh, I forgot to turn on the camera. And then I was almost done. So I was like, they're just gonna have to see it afterwards, unfortunately. My apologies, but let me show you. Everything is finally 
put away, praise God. Okay, so under the sink, do you think I have enough toilet paper? We got toilet paper, skippers, um, shampoo and conditioners, extra hand soap, baby wipes. We got first aid stuff, so peroxide, alcohol, stuff like that, witch hazel, band-aids. Got extra, a big thing of extra hand soap back there. We have some cleaning products. I need to go to the store and buy a few more because I have Lysol spray, but I'm running out and I want to clean my bathroom tomorrow, so I need to buy more of that. I put this down here. This is for like if I have any like, you know, care uh, if I'm taking a carry-on and I need travel size things, that's what that's for. I think I am going to end up returning this, so I need to make sure I do that before the return policy expires. Um, my little spot clean pet vacuum thing the attachments to that so that's what's on, under the sink on top of the sink same as before my face towelettes from clean skin club my hand soap from bath and body works and then i have everything that i use during the day and then i have a faux plant might change that out but for now it's fine okay down here is uh towels i'll probably end up putting like maybe like bed sheets in here too um if I end up getting an extra pair of like sheets um but typically I've been using the same ones and I obviously I wash them um very frequently but yep then right here this is all of my hair products I ended up getting rid of some stuff which is in this box over here but these are all of my hair products from like oils to serums to hairsprays to mousse to shampoos conditioners deep conditioners gel leave-in all that kind of stuff that is what's here looks so much less chaotic than it did at my last apartment um so yeah i'm also figuring out like what my hair really likes and trying to like stick to those things then here is like additional like hygiene stuff so i have some nail stuff here got some feminine things back there um extra brush heads for my electric toothbrush floss tra uh travel size toothpaste nasal spray deodorant exfoliators um body lotions behind i have extra blades for my razors i have some sunscreen back there um and some like tattoo aftercare stuff and then up here is my dyson air wrap and then in here this is the travel case that comes with it is my flat iron and my other um hot tools and then behind it because i don't wear them that often are my wigs so the bathroom is finally unpacked and done the apartment is completely like unpacked and done so yeah i did my i think i showed y'all did my closet the other day um so this is what she's looking like i had my pants up here and they still do fit up there if i ever need like extra space down here but i put them down here for now just so i could see my dresses a bit more um hamper fits conveniently there um i have all my shoes here then in the kitchen i'm really happy that my apartment came with these hooks like built in because it just made it easier so i didn't have to like go and buy command strips strips or hooks to put in myself but that's there um i don't think i ended up showing y'all what all the cabinets looked like but glassware and like stuff for coffee and tea is here and my wine glasses i will add be adding more to that i saw some nice ones at crate and barrel that i will be going back and buying and they're actually pretty affordable um these are all of my plates and stuff i was going to get new plates but i think i'm content with what i have then i have some like jars and measuring um cups up there um staying on this side this is literally going to be my junk um cabinet these are grocery shopping bags and then what is back there probably something for skipper that he doesn't need on a consistent basis this is my um drawer for utensils and stuff these two drawers are seasonings and things like that i was gonna put them in the pantry but i was like wouldn't it be convenient to have it right by the stove in the oven so that's what i did then countertop, Nespresso, 
the bowl that I got from Cray and Barrel, which y'all saw. This is also from Cray and Barrel, but I've had this for a few years. This is new from Cray and Barrel. It is my butter holder. I put butter in it now so y'all can see. There is water at the bottom. You're supposed to put water in the bottom. Why? I'm not sure, but yeah. Also from Crane Barrel, then these y'all saw I got today from Target. The other ones are put away in the drawer. My Always Pan, also from Crate and Barrel. Um, my Olive Oil and um, Salt and Pepper. Up here above the microwave is just water bottles. I got rid of a whole lot of water bottles when I was moving, so there's only three up there. My Stanley Cup makes the fourth one. This is like my little medicine cabinet. So these are my medicines that I need on like a consistent basis, like vitamin supplements, painkillers, stuff like that, so it's easily accessible. This section right here, Skipper, these are like extra meds and stuff and then i have covid tests and masks up there because covid is still very real y'all so yeah down here is my little tupperware cabinet this is being given away that was my old butter dish down here y'all saw in the first moving vlog is all my cleaning products um and my mop system back to the countertop paper towel holder um, hand soap, dish soap, and then my sponges and my simple human holder. Up here, the coasters that I bought from Crate and Barrel, uh, a candle from Forever Mood, my cookbooks, my pilong, and then a bottle of tequila. Then I have my knife set over here. Then in this cabinet, it's kind of miscellaneous-ish, miscellaneous-esque is what I was trying to say right now. Um, but, uh, snacks some breakfast stuff, and then pasta and rice. I don't think I wanna leave this here. I still think I wanna put them in a cute glass container and put them up here, but still deciding. That is like paper plates and utensils for, you know, when I'm entertaining. And then in the pantry is where I ended up putting all of my pots and pans and cooking gadgets. So I have um, a countertop deep fryer back there in front is my attachments to my blender system. Also behind my blender, I have my Instant Pot. Then this is all of my Cuisinart um, pots and pans. Eventually I wanna get rid of them and buy the other pots and pans that go to the Always Pan set that they have. It's like three other pieces, but I use my Always Pan for almost everything, so it's rare that I use these it just depends now but then i have a small um cadero that i use to make rice this is to my always pan um i have my air fryer have some cooking oil some extra cooking stuff here this is my protein powder it's just because this didn't fit in the drawers down there i have my cutting boards then down here I have my big galdero in the back. That's for entertaining purposes. I have my strainers and stuff back there. My toaster, I have a Reynolds wrap, parchment paper, saran wrap back there, um, and one of Hazel's cans of food. And then down here, Skipper stuff, his dog food, his treats, his cans of food, and stuff like that. So that is the kitchen. Um, and then living room is just the living room, my sofa, which I want to get rid of. My coffee table, even though they chipped it a bit, I don't plan on getting rid of it as of right now. I think it's okay. And the only reason why I'm not that pissed off about it is because this is concrete. It's stone. And so like somebody probably like who comes to my apartment might think, like that the chips probably came like that. No, it didn't. But because it's stone, because it's concrete and they do sell furniture that looks like that, I'm not that pissed off about it. However, once I receive information about my claim, if they're willing to replace it, I will get a new one because they're gonna pay for it. But I don't know yet. I'm not that upset about it. I was more irritated about that spot on my bed and them scratching up my dresser a little bit, but Anyways, before I get re-upset, just my TV is on the floor until I get a media console, then I will actually mount it um, on the wall. That's what the bracket is in this bag. 
Um, this box is like some extra Christmas stuff. I have to see if it'll fit behind the door in my closet so then it can be out of sight, out of mind. I'm trying to figure out where I want to hang up this picture of Skipper, my faux um, fig tree. I think that's what it's called. I need to fluff out the leaves on this a bit more. Um, and then, like I was saying, these are the only other boxes that are left, but the only the sound bar will go up once the TV's mounted. But these boxes right here, the stuff that's in here is stuff that I had in my media console. So once I get a media console, then it will go in there. Y'all already saw the mirror. And then in my dresser, I put everything away. So right here is like activewear. Here is like socks and underwear. I need to do laundry and then I have other things in there. This is t-shirts and stuff. I need to buy some more. I did a purge. This is sweatpants and some of my sweatshirts. I did a purge of that stuff too. Here's the remaining sweatshirts. And then this is like swimwear and then tops that I like to wear to sleep. But I'm going to actually get real pajamas this year. And then on top of my dresser, I have my perfume collection as it stands right now. And then on this side, I have my 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 little box. I don't want to say her name because then she'll wake up. And then my a candle from Bath and Body Works or White Barn. And then this sculpture that I had in my last apartment. And then I have another fig tree over here. I need to fluff out the leaves. Um, and then the bed is the bed. These pillows, I think I'm going to get rid of and get some new ones from CB2 for my bed. And then I need to get nightstands for either sides, lamps for each nightstand. And then I think I want to put mirrors above the nightstands. And then right here, what I thought about doing, his bed is here for right now, but that could always be moved to the other side of my bed or somewhere in the living room. What I thought about getting right here is like a cute little bench. So, and I'm looking at one on CB2, it's actually on sale right now, but it's not the biggest priority, which is why I don't wanna get it right now. Um, so that might potentially be an option though, once I take care of the things that I think are a little bit more important, obviously, in my apartment. But that's what I'm thinking, yay, the vlog exported now we can try and put upload this to youtube for the second time today and then i'm going to take care of the dogs and then i will probably for real talk to y'all tomorrow i'm trying to decide if i'm actually going to cook because i'm kind of tired or am i going to get something to eat we'll see but i will most likely talk to y'all tomorrow hey y'all let me pick y'all up a little bit more hello happy monday I haven't talked to y'all, I think, since Saturday when I finished organizing my bathroom. Um, so yesterday was Sunday. Sorry, I'm scratching my, my like foot. <laughs> I got bit by something, I think, when I was like walking skipper the other day. Um, but anyways, yesterday um, I was in a much better mood, so I decided to go to brunch with Donna, Haley, and Sherb. We went to Eight and Sand. The food was really good. I'll insert a picture of what I got. I got the breakfast bowl, um, and I got an ice vanilla, uh, vanilla latte. And then um, we came back here so that Sherebi could drop off her food and so that I could walk Mr. Skipper. And then we took the light rail to Uptown, and then we went to the Pride Parade, which was really, really fun. Um, I had a great time. So that's what I did yesterday. And then today I have just been working all day, but I made a purchase today for the apartment. I ended up pulling the trigger on a media console because it'll be delivered, not this upcoming weekend, but it's supposed to be delivered next Saturday. So the first Saturday of September. Um, I decided to pull the trigger on that because like out of all the things that I want to get for this apartment, like that is actually kind of a necessity because I told y'all there's still stuff in boxes. It's not that many boxes, but it's still stuff in boxes. And it, the stuff that's in those boxes is stuff that needs to go in a media console because that's where it was previously. And 
like just to have the extra storage too because I know that that most likely won't fill up the whole media console just to have the extra storage would be great so I was like let me go ahead and buy this media console so that part of the living room can be done then I can have the tv mounted because I'll know officially how high the console is when it comes um then the next thing for the living room I'll probably get is a rug because the rug that I'm looking at getting is pretty affordable it's from ruggable um and I and I think I'm glad that I'm deciding to go that route instead of getting it from cb2 because I can throw the rug in the washing machine I also want to get a lamp I want to get an accent chair and I want to change the sofa but I'm holding off on the sofa piece for a while. I probably won't get a new sofa probably until the end, closer to the end of the year um, because I am waiting on the claims people to get back to me on the pieces of furniture that they damaged because if it can't be, like if the material can't be clean to get those stains out, which I'm 100% sure they probably won't be able to do it because I, they, they're going to have to have somebody come in and look at everything and then they decide can certain things be clean or will they just give you money to replace the item. I paid for the insurance to cover up to a certain amount. So yeah, I don't think that they'll be able to get those stains out like to hire someone to clean it because I tried to get someone to come clean my couch previously in my old apartment. Y'all know. Um, however, because of the material of the couch, they were not able to like clean it. So I highly doubt that they will get be able to get someone to clean the stains out. So I'm trying to cross my fingers that I will get money towards getting a new couch um, from the claims people. However, if they magically are able to find someone to come clean it, that's fine. I'm still going to end up getting rid of the couch and getting a new one. I'm also leaning away from getting another white couch, surprisingly, even though I talked about in like previous moving vlogs that I kind of want a cloud couch dupe. Um, but lately, I've been leaning towards getting a color. Still kind of neutral, but not white. Um, but anyways, yes, I ended up getting the media console. Um, this is what I ended up getting from CB2 and I just feel like it's going to look so good because the wood's darker. So I feel like it will play up very nicely against the lighter colored floor. And then I just also feel like it will play off of like the brassy gold hardware. Like I just feel like this would be so pretty and I know that I will take it to my next place and it will serve its purpose. Like even if I decide later on down the line in a different place to like get something else for my living room, I can use it as a buffet essentially for storage in like my kitchen or a dining room and stuff like that. So I'm very happy with my purchase even though she was a little bit more expensive. So that is what I ended up uh, buying so it's supposed to come the first weekend in September and then I went to Whole Foods um, once I was done working I got some ketchup I got some sriracha hot sauce I got some peeled garlic because they didn't have any minced garlic so I will mince it myself oh Jesus okay I got a big thing of coconut aminos. Then I got some organic Italian Romano cheese vinaigrette for like salads slash sandwiches because I got some sandwich meat and I'm gonna make a little rendition of what Sharabia's other mama made. When we were in Disney World, she made these sandwiches. They were really good. I just forgot to get lettuce. So tomorrow I'm gonna go get some lettuce, but I got some I don't know how to pronounce that. Some prosciutto and some calabrese. Don't know how you pronounce that either. But essentially, charcuterie meats. I got some turkey breast and I got some cheddar cheese. I think she used provolone, but it's fine. Um, and then the dressing is going to go on this one side. It's going to have some mayo. I forgot to get that too. And then we're also going to put some like mixed greens on it. That sandwich was so fucking good. And then the last things that I got was these buttermilk protein waffles. Um, so yeah, I actually think that I'm going to end this vlog here, this moving vlog here. I think y'all are only going to get 
two moving vlogs in this little series plus the empty apartment tour so you got three videos dedicated to moving into this apartment um just because it's not as much as like when i moved into my last apartment because in that apartment i had to order like a whole new bed set and all this other stuff and wait for that to come i was really doing a lot of organization and stuff in there um there was just a lot more going on but this time around i don't feel like there's as much going on i felt like i showed y'all what i need to show you so i think i'm gonna end this vlog here and then the next vlog that you see will probably be my vegas vlog and then there will probably be another weekly vlog after that that will show like when my new credenza and stuff comes and then just anything else i end up doing like that week and stuff like that actually in that vlog I'll, I might be prepping for a little thing that me and my friends are gonna try and start doing starting next month. So yeah, anyways, enough of my rambling. We are gonna end the vlog here finally. So thank you guys so much for watching my moving vlogs, not my nail getting caught in my hair. Thank you guys so much for watching my moving vlogs. I hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously stay tuned because in just other like regular, like weekly vlogs or a few days in my life, whatever, there will be apartment updates when I get like my rug and my nightstands. And I think I wanna do some curtains in my room. I think I mentioned that before when I get like another acting chair, when I get some lamps, I gotta go to Ikea and get some mirrors. So like, you know, furniture updates will still be in other vlogs, but this is gonna be the last moving vlog. So love you all, hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're not already part of the family, especially if you keep clicking and watching back. I really don't know what you're waiting for. You really might as well just hit the subscribe button and join the family. You're gonna love it here because everybody loves it here and that's all motherfucking period. So yeah. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next bloggy vlog. Bye, y'all.